YouTube and social media in general are ever evolving platforms. They're continuously changing. Things that you used to do don't work anymore. Things that used to be awesome are kind of just annoying. So let's look at a few outdated filming and YouTube tips that you guys should leave behind. Don't feel guilty if you guys are doing any of these. I find myself doing them a lot, but being aware of them means that we can change the way that we do things to improve all of our content. The first thing is being too polite. I think people get this weird persona as soon as they turn on the camera that they are all of a sudden like a really vanilla version of themselves, <laughs> being like really diluted and polite and formal. This is not a job interview and personally I find the people I connect with most are the people that are really laid back and casual. They're talking to the camera or talking to you how they would be talking to their friends. They're just chilling. I'm just hanging out, we're talking about stuff, I'm explaining things. As soon as you get in this like official job interview, formal like kind of stance, it, it creates a disconnect between you and your viewers. So stop being so polite. It doesn't do you any good for your videos, it actually just makes it seem less authentic and more generic. The second thing is neglecting AI. Video making is a really complex and time consuming process. If we can use some AI stuff to just speed up our process, why wouldn't we do that? Even things being as obvious as like ChatGPT, not only can you use it to write an entire video script, you can also use it to spark ideas, you can ask it for what kind of things would work well on the channel that you have, and you can also tell it things like, give me 10 video titles for YouTube on a video that's about this that would have the highest chance of getting clicked on, and it will give you all of that information. You can still build on those ideas or get ideas and creativity sparked, from whatever something like that is gonna tell you. There's also other countless platforms, um, editing stuff that will cut your videos really quickly. There's so much AI going around that it would be silly not to introduce it into your workflow, at least somehow. Going from here forward, AI stuff is gonna just get better and better and better and be more and more useful for people like us. Let's ditch clickbait thumbnails and titles. Although this might get you views in the short term, it doesn't do anything to build trust or real relationships with an audience that you're trying to build. It's not a long-term solution. Not to mention clickbait fatigue, which is basically people getting bombarded with so much clickbaity stuff that they're just not really interested in anything like that. People's bull sensor are pretty good these days and I think people can very quickly establish when something is like clickbait. Go for something more authentic. Obviously you need something enticing and thought provoking to get the clicks and get people to take notice of your content so that they watch it, but don't mislead. So don't get me wrong, captivating thumbnails and titles are essential, but not without delivering what you promised on. So it's fine to have something captivating, but make sure you deliver on what you promised in that thumbnail and title. Something I like to do is have my thumbnail and title be something intriguing or something that I'm gonna tease, and right in the beginning of that video, I'll confirm that I'm gonna reveal those things in that video, and not only that, I'm also gonna try and over-deliver on what I promised in that thumbnail and title, offering even more value later on in that video, whether it's extra tips, bonus things that I didn't even make clear that I was gonna cover, just some sort of value that's gonna over-deliver on the promise you made by creating that thumbnail and title. Don't click by people, it's gonna be harmful for your channel in the long run. Number four is gonna be long-winded build-ups and intros. Now, a lot of channels these days will kind of make this hybrid of offering some sort of value, whether it's tutorials or tips, but like kind of mix it in with these vlog style things. People's time is really precious and Although there are people that do this very well and can create this hybrid style of content, I feel people are clicking on things because they want to find out answers to the questions that they have. And when you have this five minute kind of making coffee, life story, showing your day thing to get to the value point at the end of your video, I don't think that style of content works on this platform as well as it used to. And like I said, there are people that do it well, especially big, well-known personalities. People are more interested and invested in just seeing them throughout their day and in their life and 
that can offer other interest and kind of other value aspects. But for the majority of us, myself included, the content that I want to produce and something I wrote down for myself going forward is to ditch all aspects of vlogging in this tutorial channel because it doesn't contribute any value to the person that clicks on it. If you clicked on this video, you want to find out these tips, what things you shouldn't do in your filmmaking and YouTube anymore. If you want to see a vlog channel, then create a vlog channel and that's why I actually did create a separate vlog channel and if you guys are interested in any of the normal things that I would be doing that aren't tutorials, you can go and check that out. But I'm not going to try and hybrid them into one anymore because if people want the thing that they've clicked on, I think it is of utmost importance to deliver on that aspect and over deliver on the expectations that they had for that video. Let's talk about generic music. Let's retire that. The elevator style music and bad non-copyright stuff that people are putting into their YouTube videos is awful and it detracts from all of the hard work you've put into capturing your amazing footage. Audio, which was kind enough to sponsor a portion of this video, offers something called Link Match AI, which basically you can take your favorite music you're listening to on Spotify or whether it's you seeing a video that you really like that has a certain musical element in the background, you can take the link from those things and paste it into the audio platform and it will go through its entire audio library, which is massive, and find tracks that match the vibe and everything from that song that you listen to. You can get an entire list of songs that you can choose from that are similar to the exact link that you put in there. Audio was awesome enough to give me a discount code of 70% off, 70, that's like majority of the price for your yearly plan. If you guys want to try that, you can use this code down here. Otherwise, it's gonna be linked in the description. You not only get unlimited searches on Link Match AI, you also get access to their full library of music as well as sound effects. Go and check it out if you guys are creating any form of content that ever uses music and you don't want terrible elevator style music. Next, we have going viral and blowing up. I think there's a real trap of creators aiming for viral or blow up content. In my opinion, it's neither realistic to aim for this, there's just too many uncontrollable variables. It's much better to go for consistent, steady growth by creating high quality, focused content. That way, subscribers and viewers can enjoy the library of content you've already produced instead of wading through all of these failed attempts at going viral. Steady growth means you won't be overwhelmed by a sudden influx of often temporary viewers who have too much sway over your creative decisions before ultimately leaving. Focus on your core audience, build it up slowly over time. That's how you make a real community here on this platform. And one last thing that we should leave behind, and let's get a little cheesy here, but it's forgetting to have fun. Authenticity and passion are contagious, and if you enjoy what you're doing, it's more likely that your audience will too. Let your personality shine through and enjoy this whole process of being a YouTube filmmaker. Find ways of doing things that suit you and work. I recently created a video about how you should break all of these filmmaking rules. I'll link it up here. And I got so many comments on it of people saying, well, I decided to do things in my own way instead of the recommended way and it made the entire process just so much easier for them. So figure out what works for you. Don't think that you have to do things exactly the way that everyone else does them. Find what works, enjoy the process, and just enjoy this filmmaking YouTube journey that all of us are on. I hope that you guys can take some of these tips with you going forward. I'm gonna be focusing on them and focusing on leaving a lot of this stuff behind. Remember to check out audio in the top of the description for 70% off. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, bye.